Hey everybody, welcome back to Success Secrets Revealed. And today I am super, super excited that we have Sherry Innes with us. She is the CEO of Selfie School, and I'm gonna give you her bio in a little bit. But first I wanna tell you about this show, how it came about, our sponsor, and then uh, we'll, I'll introduce Sherry and then we'll bring her on. The show, Success Secrets Revealed, came about because I, Ronald Coleman, I have a, a radio show with 1.7 million reach. Took a while to build that up, but because of COVID, the radio station isn't um, manning the station, so they're running reruns. And all our guests were important and informative, but they're reruns. So especially in today's day and age, there's so much going on. I wanted to continue to deliver content and value to our listeners and our viewers. So I started this Success Secrets Revealed. Uh, doing, I was doing five a week. Now I'm going to do five one day a week taking out the audio, sending it to the radio station so they can run it uh, in some order when, when they uh, get to it, but also that everybody can see these lives and listen and learn. I want to let you know that I don't get paid to do this. My guests don't get paid to get to do this. They don't pay to come on this show. This is just everybody coming in here to just you know, contribute, serve, not sell. Uh, some people give away free gifts and books and parts of books, so take advantage of it. Uh, the sponsor for this show is RCS Online Solutions. It's my company. We're a uh, digital marketing company. We help business owners and entrepreneurs attract, convert, and retain their ideal customers and clients. Uh, let's face it, at the end of the day, you can have the best product, best service, best programs, best solutions, websites, funnels. You can have the best of everything, but if people can't find you, they can't flow you, as Grant would say, but if they can't find you, in my words, they can't consider you and they certainly can't hire you. So you have to be on the first page of the search engines for whatever your product, services, or solutions are, uh, not your company's name and not your personal name because nobody's searching for you. If they know that, they're calling you. So they're searching for their products, solutions, and services. That's where we come in. We'll get you ranked often before you even pay us, 100% organic. Now, my favorite part of this show is introducing our guest and today we got a rock star somebody i've been i've gotten to know over several months and man you know she has just a good vibe and her mindset is so authentic and, and you're just gonna love her sherry ennis is a serial entrepreneur a virtual fitness coach professional photographer ceo selfie school world traveler former community creator for grant cardone obsessed with courage and confidence and helping people feel more connected please help me welcome sherry ennis hey. Hi. <laughs> i gotta get i gotta get a uh, clap trap you know what i mean you really do you really do <laughs> So uh, that, that was a good introduction. It was a good bio. Is there, you know, can you tell us? Uh, I'm trying to get your feed here. Here it is. Um, so, so great to have you on here today. A lot of changes going on uh, recently. But we also, we didn't mention that you are a uh, cat finiciado. Okay, and I was going to add that. I'm like, I'm a cat lady and a wine lady. And I'm just so grateful. And I'm already learning, like, how you just structured that, how you introduced Um you know, thinking about what you do for services, I'm like, man, I need to hire him to get on the front, you know, the first page um, to get those results. So just really excited to be here. And yeah, lots changing, but we're always, we're always in um, transition. We're always moving to what's next. And uh, it's an exciting time. I love it, man. And that's such a good, good prospect. I mean, we all have to pivot at times. Like at first, my first three weeks, they were running reruns on the radio show. And I'm like, what am I going to do? I said, well, start something new and then just push the pot over there. Right. And um, so I love it. But tell, tell us a little bit more about you. We, we, we're going to go back and forth. But I want to your bio. I mean, I've known you. I've seen you taking pictures in Colorado. I, I just heard about you, you being in uh, Dubai and Switzerland and I mean, or Sweden, you know, somewhere where it's somewhere where everybody has blonde hair. Everybody has blonde hair. One of those countries. Right. And uh, so tell us more, man. I mean, you're an amazing. Yeah, so just um, always wanted to do a lot of things, always really felt like I was made to do something great and um, didn't want to ever stay small. So going to college, you know, really wasn't for me. They said, just choose one thing. And then 
I went from there. I worked in a factory to pay off my college debt because I, I went to this uh, private school. And so I was working like third shift in a factory doing quality control for food products like hairnet, like the outfit, whatever. Um, and then I moved to Europe and, and really uh, met a ton of amazing people. I got to run an online community to help expats meet each other. And then I took that offline to uh, drinks every week with people. And so I was meeting people at the table. There would be six different languages going on. There's, you know, people in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. And I was 23 at the time, gathering people uh, to connect and, and have community um, in this new place where they lived. So did that for a little while, then um, moved to Dubai from Switzerland. So that's the tiny country that's next to France. Um, then moved to uh, Dubai, was there for a few years, decided I wanted to learn how to become a photographer, moved to Atlanta to apprentice with a photographer there and learned everything that I needed to know from him. And then from there, uh, got an opportunity to check out Vail, Colorado, fell in love. It was very similar to Switzerland with the mountains and the activities and um, just fell in love there and started a business just from the ground up, built it really on social media. I love what you said. They can't, and Grant says this all the time, they can't flow you if they don't know you. Um, so really built a business uh, using social media to get known. Um, and from there, like just stuff has kind of come to fruition. I moved to Miami to work with Grant. Um, now going to go to full-time entrepreneurship again, but with this, this wave of 10x momentum behind me. And it's just super exciting. Yeah. And you've certainly, you surrounded yourself with some of the best of the best. <clears throat> I mean, going back to was like when you created that group. So to me, it's kind of like you've always been in, in the events, the event space, meeting people, a natural greeter, a natural connector of bringing people together. Um, my girlfriend's Cambodian and she's part of a, um, an expatriate group here in Boston. So as soon as you said that, it hit my mind because there's like 600 of them and I'll go to the events with them, right? And it's like, there might be like five Americans and everybody else is from another country. So, yeah. but I love it because it's like, I get to they, they'll bring, you know, potlucks so they'll all bring different dishes and different languages and different cultures. Oh. But uh, yeah, so for you to, to get to experience that. And then my mind obviously starts thinking, well, you sell $10 tickets and you provide some avatars and you know what I mean? Well, and so that's what happened. But if there's 600 who are in that group, there are probably 6,000 who are still not connected. They don't even know the group exists and they are, they're desperate for community. Yeah. Um, and that, that's a huge, that's a huge uh, important thing to me that people know that they belong, that they matter, that they have a place to go to, to belong. Um, life is lonely. Like, it's better to do it with people. Um, and that's what I started to do. So in Switzerland, it started out as, and I branded it, new member drinks. So when you were new to the website, you came to the new member drinks. You got a free and, drink. <laughs> kind of, yeah, and I'm, I love branding. I love creating. And so that was always a thing. And then it was, um, and some people might even be tuning on their lifelong friends from Switzerland. But then it turned into like a monthly party and a quarterly party where I like would, you know, come together with the restaurant or come together with the space. And it it definitely grew into something really special and, and honestly monetizable, if that's a word. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, for me, I was just thinking that too, because you are, because when people like these people who came here to the group that, that my uh, girlfriend's in, she, it really became, cause they don't have any real family here. They all came here for a job or a business or, or they got married initially and now they're divorced, whatever the case may be. Right. But so it, for them, the group became their family. 100%. Yeah. So, uh, so to me, I mean, that's excellent, but you know, first I got this visual, right. Of you, uh, wearing a hand net on a third shift, right. This was a, that was a travesty of justice. I mean, I can't imagine, you know, if I was like the manager, I'd be walking by, I'd be like, girl, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I love it though. My dad is an executive in the company and from the age of 16, we had access to work in this factory and my parents taught me hard work. You work for what you get. There were no handouts. You know, my parents gave me a very little amount toward college, but the rest I needed to come up with on my own, which I fully respect because then I took ownership of what I was doing. I took it seriously. Um, and, you know, I, I just, I had the opportunity to work in this factory, making boxes, right? Like taping the boxes, taking things off the assembly line. Everybody's going to like Lucy. 
um, uh, you know, that you would talk with. I mean, I literally, that's what I did for several summers and I would go off to college and I, I could come back and work there, but it was good money. I was 16 and I was making $7 and 35 cents an hour. We don't want to talk about how long ago 16 was, but <laughs> It was really good money at the time, and um, it really just taught me the value of hard work. Yeah, hard work. I love it. And uh, now, then you went on to be a nanny. I mean, you, you, you it, there's like 10 different yeah. versions of you, and it's probably all before you were 25. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So nanny, nanny for a little bit, just for the opportunity to go abroad. And then I actually worked for the heiress of Van Cleef and Arpels and one of the richest men in Israel. And they had a home in Geneva and I was the nanny to the 16 year old daughter. So really didn't need to nanny, but basically drove her to school. And then they put me in French class for four hours a day, five days a week. So I got paid to learn French fluently right. and like live in the Beverly Hills of Geneva, Switzerland. Like, like the stories of my friends are always like, write the book, Sherry, write the book. I'm like, it's coming, it's coming. Yes, write the book, definitely. You know, how you just grab your phone and just talk into your phone and just start. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, you just write it, talk to your phone, you just write a chapter, send it out to like Rev. Send it out to Carolyn, Carolyn Flower, and then she can write yep. the book for me. Yeah, or like, or even like if you just want to get it printed, you rev.com, they'll mm -hmm. print it out for like a buck a minute, and then you edit it, and then you send it to Cheryl, you know what oh. I mean? So you're talking to your phone, chapter one, you know what I mean? Just do sections, you know, maybe, you know, from one to five, five to 10, 10 to 15. And then when I went to Switzerland, I worked here, I did this, 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 and this, and just talk it all in one chapter, you know, okay. five as you're out jogging or, or doing something. Yeah, that's so you smart. Know, yeah, you just talk into your phone, record it, and then send it off, have it transcribed, edit it, and then send it to uh, Carolyn. She's going to be on the show, I believe, next week, too. I so. love that. She's yeah. a wonderful human soul. Yeah, and and I love, she's a 10Xer, too. You see all yeah. the I know we, we all have it. It's like yeah. we all have it. <laughs> hey, listen, and I, I said this in my life today. Like I, I was introduced to Grant Cardone uh, through my coaching business. So I do an MLM and um, partner with Beachbody as a virtual health coach. Uh, saw that as a really great opportunity. And because of that, I had been introduced to the 10X rule. I listened to it, it was so powerful. And then got to come and work there. Like I was a 10 X or it was just in my veins already. Yep. And then got to go be part of the source. And so coming out of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's even more. That's why the 10 X momentum wave. I'm like, dude, let's go. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, we get what we need in life when we need it. And then when yeah. we don't need it, whether we don't realize we don't need it or whatever, you know, it, it, things happen and we move on. But you, you were literally at the hot center you literally sat at the table and talked to the person who not only invented it, but then all the other students. That education that you got for the time you were there is worth millions. 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 I am so, like, it gives me goosebumps. I'm so deeply grateful for the education and the knowledge that I got, the push, the, the belief. Like, I, it, it has changed my life. Yep. I'm I'm a big fan of, of all that, and uh, and also so now tell us going forward. I mean, we can certainly talk about anything more that you've done. And I remember you at, at, when you were at the uh, event, uh, or I remember the first time I saw you. It was at the uh, the boot camp. The boot camp. Yeah. Oh, you remember? Was I that annoying one? I no, just, oh. no, no, no. I was overwhelmed. There was like 500 people, and I was just like, whoa. And I like some people knew me, and I knew them. But then it was it was awesome. For me, it was like. Who is that? <laughs> I swear to God. And, and then when Jared talked about his story, about how he met his wife, yeah, declared, she's my wife. I almost walked up to you and said, you don't know this yet, right? But, <laughs> then I figured, but then I figured all them guys up on the stages, right? You could see everybody was packing, right? I said, I'm just going to sit down and just get my little bit of info and move on. <laughs> 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 but you did when you walked across the room. I was like, I know you from somewhere, and you were like, Oh, maybe on Facebook. And I was like, Yeah, maybe. And and that was it. But yeah. um, but you definitely made an impression, and um, so super happy. Um, and I'm a big fan of, of everything that they do, and uh, I go back and I re-listen. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll take 100%. it. Off. 
yeah, I'll tape it on my phone because, you know, I just got so much going on sometimes. So then I'll listen to it when I'm walking. I'll go walk three, four, five miles or jog and I'll just listen to it and ingrain. I think Brandon Dawson talked about how he, um, he just like immersed himself in it for like two weeks or something before he even went to 10x uh, yeah. just so, he, you know, it was him. And I think there was somebody else too. Jared says normally just do like three or four or something. But uh, somebody else said, well, I did them all. He said, OK, do them all just to get it out of your system, immerse yourself. But then after that, do three or four because your brain can only take so much. You right. Know? If you're listening to the Kaido and you stuff, uh, otherwise you're just pouring water on a sponge and it's not going to uh, absorb it. But uh, so tell us now more. What, what what are your plans now and going forward? And tell the world how we can help you too. Hundred um, percent. And I agree so much with that. I I liken that to when I learned French. I went four hours a day, five days a week, and I made it about five months. But I was exhausted because there was so much coming into my brain. And I, I had to stop it at about five months because I had taken in as much as I could, like a saturated sponge, right? Um, and then it was about three weeks later that I was out to dinner and was with my boyfriend at the time. And the waiter came over and it just flew out of my mouth fluently, like for the first time ever. And he looked over at me, he's like, Sherry, you're speaking French. And I'm like, I under it was like, uh, like the light bulb had just gone on and like all of the information finally was was able to go. And I'll tell you that everything with 10 X, like I still will watch young hustlers. I will like it, be into all of the content, all of the stuff that's on YouTube, like Cardone university, because I still don't get it. Like I get a lot of it, but I still don't get it. So there's still yeah. so much room to grow. Yeah. Um, you know, 10 X rule will, will always be my favorite or maybe be obsessed or be average. And I will always re-listen to those. Brandon Dawson, probably the smartest person I've ever, like Brandon, Jared, and Grant, like the smartest people I've ever met and to continue to learn from them. Um, now's the time to take massive action. So as I grow my business, I was messaging Brandon Dawson earlier and I'm like, he's like, you know, wish you the best. And I'm like, no, we're just getting started. You realize that, right? <laughs> I knew man. And like build my business to $200,000 a month. That's the target. Um, and I'm going to need your help because I don't know what to do after I start making 50 a month. Like I'm going to need your guidance and your counsel. And I want to be surrounded by people who have done what I want to do. So I'm, it's just getting started. So <laughs> it's exciting. I love it. And you have surrounded yourself. What's great about it is first of all, anybody, all of us, we need, if we're the smartest person in the room, we're in the wrong room to begin with, but you, you, you want to surround yourself with people who have already been there and done that. Right. Uh, and you want to seek counsel, not advice. You, you know, you don't want to ask somebody who's never written a book, how to write a book or so your broke brother-in-law, how to make investments on your 501k, right? or 401k and um, you want to seek counsel somebody who's been there and done that but you put yourself in the room with all those people you've developed friendships with them some of it was based on business but some of it you know more of it spills over that's how it starts and then it becomes friendships so now uh, mr dawson will help you you know what i mean you know what i mean so it's like somebody's me walking up to him he'll be like yeah you know what i mean can i can i see this you know what I mean? Your checkbook, right? I mean, but with, with which is fine because I 10 times it in, in time with him, right? But uh, but you've built a rapport with, you know, you put yourself in the room. That's one of the most important things is put yourself in the room with the people who are, uh, who are, who are acting and living and doing business at the level you want to be at, but like five times higher. 100%. Yeah, get in that room and pay to get in their room. You know, uh, pay up, show up, and blow up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. That is literally those are the marching orders. Um, I'm literally launching a business today, um, which is selfie school. Super exciting. I am a professional photographer, so I'll still um, do that. I love all of my clients. I've spent years building that book of business, so. Um, very excited to serve my clients there. And then virtual health coaching is blowing up as well. That's a, that's a new thing for me. It's, uh, like I said, I, I partner with Beachbody programs and products, but my coaching platform is confidence and courage and, and community, um, and helping people kickstart healthy habits, but also, um, you know, mindset, really the mindset of you're okay, you're enough, you're loved, you're not alone, you belong, 
And we do that through the daily discipline of fitness and nutrition. So um, it's super exciting. And then obviously Selfie School launches today, which, um, you know, I chose that title for a reason because it's catchy. It's kind of vain. People think like selfies are kind of like, you know, I I did. I was the person who judged anybody who was posting a picture of themselves consistently online. And now I realize that it's such a, it's a way to brand yourself. It's a way to get your brand out there, your personal brand. That's a, if that's what your business is or to show up as part of your own brand, if you're like a company or brick and mortar business, but to consistently show up in selfie school is it's just better photos, better photos, period. So whether you're taking a picture of your cat or a picture of your food or a picture of your kid, you're going to have the tools um, and training to take better photos, period. I love it. And that's excellent. And that's coming from somebody again, who has that experience. Um, one thing I'd like to talk to you about on the, um, your, your businesses, blowing up your businesses. I mean, those like, um, beach body is, is an MLM. Yeah. So, they have certain words and they have certain logos and stuff, right? But you can create like your own site. And right now, everybody is so concerned or they should be, right? Once we're coming out of COVID, right? This isn't the end of it. It might be the end of COVID. It may not be. But somewhere down the line, there's something else coming. So the one thing we do know is that if you have a strong, healthy immune system and you exercise and you take care of yourself, you will have a better chance. Nothing's guaranteed. You might get hit by a bar. 100%. 100%. Yeah, but you'll have a better chance. You'll be able to walk up three flights of stairs at 70 and not be out of breath, right? And, uh, you know, some people at 40, that might be. 30, I was going to say, like, that's the thing. Yeah. So uh, I think that's tremendous. Right now you are hitting, a, it is a gold mine for people who have anything to do with like restructuring credit, restructuring debt. So you don't have to do bankruptcy. I got a client we'll build tomorrow. We're doing all his videos and we're building out his whole thing. And yeah, because how to restructure your debt without, um, without filing bankruptcy. So you're going to pay five, seven cents on the dollar. So you're reducing it. You're not going to destroy your credit score and you don't have to file bankruptcy. So people will still do business with you. But, uh, and then I have a couple others that I'm doing this week, but immunity right now, you are at, yeah. it is so important, and, and it, but it's also the way, you know, uh, like there's a certain words, like you probably wouldn't get away with putting COVID-19 there. They'll, you know, they'll, but C19 didn't get you, but the next one might, you know, three tips to avoid, you know what I mean? Something like that. Cause you're right. You want hook story offer, right? So the hook is the catch, whatever they see on, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, it stops them, whether it's a picture, it's a couple of words, it's the hook. And then the story is, okay, you know, C19 didn't get you, but the next one might best way to protect yourself is to have a strong immunity system. A strong immunity system becomes from this, 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 and these are all links to your site. And then you're a marketer. You're like a professional marketer. I love that. Yeah. And then your site, right? You can talk to them about it on it, right? Without yeah. mentioning your beach body products. But then when they go to click and buy a shake, it'll take them right to your site. So everything goes through your site. But this way here, you're not doing anything that infringes upon any of uh beach body or, or whatever products you're you're promoting. Um uh, copyrighted material. I've done many sites for people who do MLM, sort of like what you see here. You have the ad. If you see the yeah. ad, then you have the bridge. The ad is what you get them. The bridge is to your site, your MLM site. So this is a bridge because you can't sell them. You can't send them to your site directly uh, unless you're going to use uh, beach body material. And right. then, you know, all this different stuff. But um, yeah, but I love it, man. But you're, you're, you are so uniquely, if you do it right, right? You, even if you do it wrong, you're going to make money. But because uh, it's, it's so important right now for people to focus on their health. We, we dodged a bullet with this one, right? And, um, you know, but we don't, we have no idea what the heck's coming next. And where everybody can just jump on a plane and, uh, you know, uh, whew, it's you know. crazy. Yeah. And in the beach body thing, you know, it's definitely shakeology is a huge part of it. It's uh, the nutrition. That's what I always struggled with when I went to the gym. Um, the fitness is a big part, but really it's, it's the challenges. It's having the personal coach. You can go buy a shake. You can go to Costco and get their protein shakes. You can go to Isogenics, get a shake. You can go to Herbalife and get that stuff. But to really have the coach that comes alongside you and gives you the accountability and says, Hey, do you want to do this healthy lifestyle thing together? Um, I, th- I think that is Beachbody's secret sauce. And I've just seen 
Um, I've seen my cousins build an amazing business with this. And then the flip side of that is building the team, right? The MLM structure is, and with Beachbody, like I could go out and sell stuff, but it's really not even about direct sales. It's about building a team of people who want to do life with you, who want to be committed to a healthy lifestyle, who care about having a healthy immune system, but also care about bone density, you know, exercising their heart. I had a very uh, dear friend pass away at 31 of a massive heart attack, 31 years old. And that changed my life. Like I, I really, I stand for what I, re I, what I represent in products and programs because I want people to not be out of breath at 31 when they're going up the stairs or 70. I don't want them to fall and break their hip. I want them to, you know, have a healthy gut and have a good mindset. Like it's all just really good stuff that I believe in. And so I love it. That's your story too. Cause we yeah. already had the hook. Now we got the story. Yes. I had a really good friend die at 31 and somebody, you know what I mean? It's Cause you have, you have the hook. Now you have the story and then you tie it in. It's the epiphany bridge. And, um, I love it, man. You Let's got build it. it. Let's build it. <laughs> I, we should talk because I know you're massively connected too. So, I mean, you know, for me, I, I would be looking, you know, to I'm looking for referrals from you because I know you're massively connected. So, you know, let me prove myself, you know what I mean? And, and earn your referrals. And now that's another one great thing I love about the whole 10 X community is that um, there are just so many, there is, there is such a diversity of, of um, products and services out there, yeah. but everybody's on the same plane. Everybody's on the same plane. I want to serve. I don't want to sell. How can I help? I will help and then be helped. You know 100%. I mean? Like yeah. that is the mission um, through and through. How can we serve? How can we serve? How can we help? What problem can we help you solve today? How can we help you go from where you're at to where you want to be? Yeah. Oh man, you should listen to my voicemail. That's what I say. We are we are transitional engineers. We get you from where you want. Oh, I love that transitional engineer. Yeah. We are transitional engineers. We get you from where you are to where you want and need to be. Yes. <laughs> I like that you're laughing at yourself because really yeah, well, you got to have fun with it, right? You know what I mean. 100%. Yeah, and sometimes people will call and I say, Ronald Coleman speaking. How am I enhance your existence? <laughs> I had somebody do that to me the other day. They're like, hey, so-and-so, um, how can I make your day better? And I was like, that's brilliant. How can I make your day better? Excellent. Your reach out. Like, even if you're just uh, in sales and you're just doing reach outs, hey, how can, how can I make your day better? Thank yeah. you for asking. Nothing. But that was that just made my day better that you asked. Good. I love it. Cherry, I like to ask people for three things. If you were a business owner, an entrepreneur, or you want to be, can you give us three pieces of advice that people could consider. Uh, and then I want to make sure you give everybody your contact info. And if and if your new contact info isn't in the bio and stuff you sent me, please send it because this this stuff's going to be blasted all over the place probably yeah. before the end of tonight or lunch tomorrow and indexed and everything. So uh, all right, three pieces of advice. Yep. And then I want all like all your links too, that all your new links or wherever you want. And I'll put them all in these descriptions. You froze on me, so I, I hope you're still there. I, uh, yeah, you can. I can hear you a little bit now. Oh no, oh no, Mr. Bill. Not sure no. what's happening. Perfect, you're back, you're back. Let's not jinx. You're back? Yes. I don't know what happened. I see my camera like cutting it, out. It um, man. Uh, it's freezing again. Wow. Right at the end. Oh, no. All right. Well, there it is now. I heard you say, oh, no. Okay. Whatever you're doing, just don't move your hands. <laughs> Maybe that'll do it. Ah, you froze again. What's going on? You probably could log out and log right back in. It won't stop the interview. Okay, let's do that. Um, Even though I just heard you're perfect right now. Sherry will be back with us in one second. Uh, just waiting. What a great interview, huh? What a great attitude. So much to offer the world. Been all over the place. 
who can imagine living in all those different places, having all those different experiences. But um, she's going to come on back on. And she's going to give us a couple of tips on uh, how business owners or entrepreneurs could uh, achieve even greater success um, going forward. Ta-da! Okay, let's try this. All right, perfect. Maybe I just needed time to think about my three things because I'm like, I'm on the spot. I don't always, like, I could tell you a hundred things. I would say... Uh, pick up the 10x rule. Listen to it. You have Grant Cardone in your ear as your personal trainer. If it resonates with you, apply what's in the book. If you're an average person and you want and you like your life in mediocrity, yep. you're not going to like the book and you're going to put it down. So um, that book changed my life. Um, that that's literally like just go out and 10x. Literally, success is is our duty and our responsibility and our obligation. And I live by the, the motto that if I can, I must. So I wake up every day with a deep sense of purpose um, in what I'm doing. I know the direction I'm going in. I have a deep sense of purpose in that to change lives, to help as many people as possible. Got massive goals um, and just never quit. You, you were referencing three feet from gold earlier a little bit. Did you? Yeah. So Greg Reed, amazing, phenomenal person, like just an amazing, amazing book. Yeah, you're in lector. Um, you know, just don't quit. You can't quit. And if you don't quit, you can't fail. That's Grant Cardone too. It's like, like though that's just my life motto. Yep. Both of them are friends of mine, and they both uh, on my first week of this show, I had Alex Stern. He sold his uh, business constant contact for a billion. Uh, Dave Corbin was uh, uh, hit my, the next guest. He serves usually the top fifty for Forbes. Uh, Wednesday um, was Greg Reed. Yeah. Thursday was Frank Shankowitz from uh, uh, Make a Wish Foundation, and Friday was Sharon Lecter. And then, and then the next week, I had uh, some pretty big guests on to uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul. You know, Mark Victor Hansen, oh, wow. and then yeah, him and his wife are launching a new group. But these are people because I've traveled the country. I mean, just like I've gone to different events where I saw you at 10X and stuff. But I've traveled the country, and I've, I speak on the stages on internet marketing and business solutions. But so after we speak, the speakers is usually like a speaker's party. But then there's also like we'll go out to dinner and stuff or we'll lunch yeah. in between sessions. And, and you just get to know people, and you become friends, and you just follow up. But I'm telling you, some of, just like you with Grant and them, some of these people, can I tell you a quick story yes please i was speaking in la right and it was in the uh it was the day of the boston red sox i'm a red sox fan from boston obviously right yes and, i'm like duh <laughs> and grant and elena were in uh la to see um uh, at the staple stadium to see the first game right they paid 10 grand to sit right behind home plate so he could have the 10x sign on right so I know I see I hear that they're downstairs. So I'm upstairs. I'm speaking at an event on the second floor. So I come downstairs. Now you think I got pastel on now, right? And I put this on for you, girl, because I know you're Florida. So I put on pastel. I got five interviews today, back to back. Okay. Like five different shirts. I have four shirts here, right? I said, which one am I gonna wear twice? That's I massive said, action. Yeah. yeah. I, said, I said, which one am I gonna wear twice? I said, I'm not. I said, I'm going to go wear my pastel shirt for, for uh, Sherry <laughs> from Florida. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so anyhow, so I come downstairs and I probably, I think I might have had this one on with um, a white jacket over it, right? And this was LA, but I, you know, I always wear it. And it's actually up on my Facebook uh, thing with me, him, and, me, him, and Elena. And Ryan took the picture. But I went down and I started speaking to him, and it was like the whole restaurant was closed. And I'm looking around, right? And they're kind of like way in the background. So I walk in the background and I start talking. And um, so Grant. I'm talking to Grant, but then I kind of like pivoted to Elena and I said, you know, Grant, I know that you're a rock star and everybody knows you're a rock star, but I met you through Elena and he mm. looked at me and he said, there was a video that Elena did where she was speaking at some event and you were doing the live stream and she asked you, what should I talk about? And you said, go deep, go wide. And she talked about the experience where you came and said, we're dead, we're done. It was like 2008 or whatever. Uh, 
And she basically said, do I look like I'm dead too? And she sent them in the room to, to get the book. And then she talked about the Clydesdales. And if you have two Clydesdales, it's not 16,000 that they can pull. It's 24. And if you train them correctly, it's 38. So when I started listening to her, I, I typed on that. That day, I was in St. Croix. I went down there for two months because I can work remotely anywhere, right? So I went down to U.S. Virgin Islands for That's two months. That's the way to do it, by the way. Yeah, just hang out on the beach. That's for my motivation. Months. Yeah, so I'm sitting down there, right? And and um, so they were doing the, the the 10x in Miami, so I, I couldn't make it. I would have had to cut my trip short, right? So, but when I saw that, um, when I saw that video, I just write, "This is a kingmaker," right? And I said that about Elena, kingmaker. This is a kingmaker, and it's stuck on Instagram. So that's why if if I go there, right? If the last time we, we were at the boot camp, she's like, "Hey, Ron," you know what I mean? Uh, be, be, yeah, it was so nice because, uh, but it was really, I mean, the she, the way she spoke and the way she encouraged him, right? Uh, to me, that is like you it brings life into into the male. Like she, she's incredible. She is a pillar of strength, and she's just a rock. Yeah. Um, incredible belief. Like it's just she's special, and and I'm glad that he found somebody like that to to help move them forward. Yeah. And, and, and to me, it was just amazing. So I call her the Kingmaker. Kingmaker. And, Maybe yeah. it should be her next book. Yeah. And she's empire. And I, and I love the book empire too. I, I, uh, I've read it a couple of times, but um, anyhow, so that was my story. Oh, by the way, I bought them lunch that day when I left after I got my picture, I left and I went, I paid for their lunch and, but it was so funny because there was hardly anybody there. So I'm trying to pay for their lunch discreetly and leave. Right. But the people at the counter, they're saying, who, which ones, those ones, those ones. I said, man, don't point. I'm trying to do this as a favor quietly. Right. Yeah. And I said, them, I turn, I said, them back there, you see them. And so then they pay, it was like 50 bucks or something. Right. We just had sandwiches. So then I leave and, and I, and I'm around the side and I'm talking to my friend, um, Kat, Katarina and, um, so now they're coming out and she and she's like, oh, man, I wish I got to meet them and stuff. Right. So now they're coming out. But just by chance, instead of going right to the stadium, they took a left and came by where we were standing. I was standing. She was sitting. And uh, they and he looked at me and he said, was that you? And I said, what? Was that you who paid for my lunch? And I said, yeah. And he goes, thank you. And I said, sir, I'm grateful for everything you do for us. Right. And uh, so that was pretty cool. But then also Katarina got to speak to Elena and both of them, too. So it was doesn't miss a thing. He's his bandwidth is incredible. He he picks up everything. And he's I mean, he's a super genuine guy. So I'm glad mm -hmm. you had that experience. That's awesome. Yep. And I asked them too, right? I said, this is very important, guys, right? It's very important. I said, so are you rooting for the Red Sox or LA? And then they said the Red Sox, right? So then, right? Oh, wait a minute. I might even have it here. Then, here it is. well, this is a different one. When we were at one other event, I met her, Elena, at an event in Boston. But this was the picture of that event. So, oh. what, so what I did is, right, after the event um, and after the Red Sox won, I went and I bought Red Sox shirts for him and for her. So then I wrote on the back, right? I, I wrote on to Elaine is the Kingmaker from Ron, right? And oh. I put it and I put it in an envelope and I but I mailed it to her separately, right? Because I figured if I put them in one envelope, it'd get lost. Then I put the other one into Grant, a male's uh, you know, uh, Red Sox champion shirt, and I mailed it to him. And one day she was walking by and she was talking about all the gifts she saw, and there was my gift. I was like, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you had an impact. Yep. And and uh, more so for me than them. They probably have millions of people, right? But for me, it was so cool. Yeah, but they care. They care about, and they start to hear names over and over again. And and the best thing that you can do to get their attention and be on the radar is go create success. Like that really matters. Grant really, um, like he cares so much about the success stories from that business and what you know what his material and his massive action can do to help others. So it's a big deal. I love it. Good stuff. And as far as why success is my duty and why I said I am going to be massively successful and, and write that story from today forward. I mean, already the businesses are, are booming. Photography is a really successful um, venture for me, but I'm like, I've got to go bigger. I've got to go even bigger and I've got to think even bigger. And now I feel equipped to do that.
Now, on this selfie uh, program you're doing, right? Two questions. First, are you staying in LA? I'm in Florida. Uh, so I am actually going to be going, heading back to Colorado where my base for my photography clients are or is. Um, I bet you there's more people taking selfies in Miami than in Colorado. So, so selfie school is virtual. It's an online course where people come in. It's, it's all virtual work from anywhere. My photo business where I'm a portrait photographer right. um, is based in the mountains. And, um, you know, I had been there for seven years before I came here yep. and, you, it, there's a certain season where you can be taking pictures and, and really earning, earning the living through that. So I thought, you know, and I also, you know, mountain biking and hiking and all of that stuff, like that's my love here. I've been here for about 10 months and um, really came here to learn and to work. So I don't really have a huge base here. So I, I was like, it was a natural choice to go back to the mountains. All right. Well, let me know because the online stuff, that's my world. And you can, yeah. do, you can do that from the mountains or you can do that from 100%. that, that yeah. high rise in LA. I was so jealous with you flying around with you. The people are saying, how are you taking them great selfies? And you're like, oh, that's my drone. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, I mean, let's oh. just be real. Like, it's not that like, <laughs> I'm a, I'm very good at promotion. And like, I think I have that in common with like, you're always looking at the story and how do you enhance this and how do you promote what you're doing? And it's like, yeah, I took my drone and it's off on the balcony and it's taking this picture. Well guys, it's a, it's a $400 drone that I've dropped a few times. It's a little beaten up, but like, I know how to fly it. I almost flew it into the building when I was trying to take the picture, <laughs> but like the backstory is like real life. And then all yeah. you see is like, I'm just standing on my balcony looking whatever. <laughs> glass of wine, watching yeah. the <laughs> like you can you can control the narrative all the time. So that and that is the point of selfie school is to help people um put themselves out there, uh gain some confidence. A lot of people hate how they look in pictures. Um, because of my experience as a professional photographer, I know how to pose. And you're posing now because you just froze. Yikes. Oh, okay. You gone. But uh, all right. So um, anyhow, you guys, we've been listening with uh, Sherry Ennis and I met her through Grant Cardone. She, she became part of his uh, community outreach. Oh, here we go. You're back. I, I, was, I was just closing out. <laughs> Are you back? All right. Well, you can stay there. Uh, hi, everybody. You've been listening to Success Secrets. Uh, with Ronald Cooming and uh, Sherry Ennis has been an outstanding guest today. She has been, uh, she is a true testament to entrepreneurship. And you talk about, you know, perseverance, resilience, uh, reinventing yourself. But more importantly, she's real, raw, and relatable. Her authenticity is unquestionable. If you don't know Sherry Ennis, you need to reach out and contact her. She's got a couple of new programs. She's got some stuff to help you with your coaching, with your um, uh, bodybuilding internally, but also mentally and emotionally. And one thing I love to say, I can see your head going there too, is you know, you, 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 yeah, so I know you're back, you're not frozen. But I, um, one thing I really loved and we didn't get to mention on it is diets don't work. And they'll yeah. never work because what really works is it's a lifestyle change. You might start with the diet that will get you to the weight you want or close to it, but you have to mentally and emotionally change something because there's some underlying causal factor that is causing the effect to the overeating, the undereating, whatever that effect is, is caused by some uh, underlying causal factor. And that's why you need a coach because you need lifestyle changing. So I'm a super... Yeah. Do you want to do you want to come join my team? Because you just said that perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be your marketer. I want to be on your team, right? Yeah. But, but, but also, who knows? Maybe I need to lose a few pounds. You know what I mean? And uh, or actually, no, just kidding. But um, uh, yeah, but no, I would love to uh, have that conversation, see how I can contribute in any way. And again, my focus would be on um, er, you know, earning your referrals more so. Yeah. Anything else because uh you know you're just a dynamite person you're doing great things people need to be working on their health their immunity in their mental mental stuff you know it's, it's, it's the bigger thing that people don't realize they come in for fitness and they come out with confidence uh because they've worked on their mindset so and what i love most about my job is there are people like you who have 
skill sets and things that you can do and that you can bring to the world and how you can deliver it that I can't, but I can bring you to the people that need you. You know what I mean? The people you're the connector. You're just, it's the same. It's, I love that. So I kind of find a little bit of uh, solace in that, that, but for, you know what I mean? Now these people are getting their needs met from this group or this person. And, but I connected them. So I am in my mind somehow helping them have a better life as well. So uh, I, I love it. That's so awesome. All right, Sherry, you have a great day and good luck in everything. Do not be a stranger. I'm already uh, contacting is my phone. I'm going to have to look in uh, abandonment therapy. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, aband what is it? The other one abandonment uh, therapy and there's something else, right? Uh, totally. And if anybody wants to connect on Instagram, it's just at my name at Sherry Innes. One word there. At Sherry Ennis. I love it. And guys, you can Google her. You can see tons of her pictures and stuff and find her that way as well. But the thing that you cannot do is you cannot not reach out to Sherry Ennis. Oh, you're so awesome. Thank you so much for having me today. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Everybody, like I said, you've been listening to Sherry Ennis. She is a rock star on so many levels. We only touched a short amount because we only had a short amount of time. She is the epitome of perseverance, pivoting and reinventing yourself and resilience. And she has a heart of gold and you can obviously see she has a great personality. So uh, I highly recommend you reach out to her, uh, maybe initially on Instagram. It's at Sherry, S-H-E-R-R. I N N I S and then just go from there, DM her, go from there, but work with her and check her out. If you don't, you know, you're hurting yourself, not her. So love you all. Have a great day. Bye for now.